Hello and welcome to Beersucker.com. Today we've got another Beer Sucker member, Ben's with us, and he brought the Afflagen. Afflagen. Afflagen uh, Noel. It's a Christmas beer, but it is a Abbey Ale. It's a Trappist. Trappist. An Abbey Ale. Beautiful bottle. Really nice. This one is 9% alcohol by volume. <laughs> um, and it says the Aphigen, Aphigen Abbey ales are being brewed in Belgium according to the original recipe since, oh God, was that 1075? Wow. Oh, yeah, that's that's really a long, long time ago. So they've been making the same beer for, <laughs> for ever and ever. So I guess if you get it right, <laughs> you stop messing with it. All right, I'm gonna let Ben pop this one open. He, <laughs> oh, all right. See if I can get mine right in front of you. Here we go. This beer had a ton of smoke on it when he opened it. Sorry, I missed it, Joe. I know you like the smoke. Beautiful beer. Nice copper, hazy kind of golden color. A little dark. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay. Mm. Bananas. Oh, lots of smell, lots of smell. What's he picking up on that? I got heavy clove. Lots of bananas. Really, really strong, strong <laughs> smelling beer. One to ten on the smell. I'm gonna be about a nine. That's a fabulous smell of beer. I really dig that. What you think? One to ten. Um, on a one to ten, I probably. I'm not usually a huge fan of spice beers, but I, I'd probably have to give this one a nine as well. It's one of my favorites. Really smells great. All right. Cheers. I saw you already drew off of it. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> Couldn't wait. Mm. <laughs> wow I hear you Ben that's really good that, um, you get a little caramel note in it wow um, really bites on your tongue it's not really not really uh, fruity per se no not not at all like I said it, it's got <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a spice beer <laughs> wow well, it's. Mm. You can't pick up the alcohol. You can't taste a little alcohol. Yeah, nine percent. Yeah, you, you expect a little bit of a bite, but it's not oak, but it's kind of a woody, yeah, kind of aftertaste. Yeah, taste one to fifty on our scale. I'm gonna put this one about forty. Um, I really dig that flavor. I mean, I really like that. And the smell is so strong, it accentuates the taste a whole lot. It really goes well. And it, it only gets better as it warms up. You drink it at room temperature, it's a whole nother beer. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, we still got little enough to get us a few swallows, so we may slow down on this one. Uh, not your typical beer sucker review where we just pound them down. So <laughs> we're going to take our time with this one. Um, where do you put it on the on the taste? One to fifty. One to fifty. I probably give it. I probably give it about a thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Cool. You know, um, it's again. This is one of my favorite beers. <laughs> it's got it all. I mean, it really <laughs> does. Um, I read somewhere where someone would taste a little fig or that kind of stuff in it. And if you grill the fig and kind of kind of smoke it, yeah, that, that, yeah, you can kind of taste that, man. So, get really, really good beer. Um, the finish is excellent. It's 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 not smooth. Don't don't buy this beer thinking that it's going to be smooth because it's not smooth. It's not really a strong hoppy bite, but it's. It's it's warming. I mean, it's just it, the finish is really good. And the on, the only drawback to it when when you let it set out and get warm is the alcohol bite gets a little worse. But the flavor is just 
Come pop, on. for lack for for lack of a better word, but the cool. alcohol bite gets a little bit stronger. Great. Um. So, uh, finish. I dig that a lot. I I like that bite a whole a whole lot. One to ten on finish. I'm gonna be about eight on this one. I might have to agree with you the same on that. Bang for the buck. What'd you get for this one? Well, it's nine percent, and like I said, the average bottle retail well of the Aflagem is usually about seven, eight bucks for you know seven fifty. It's pretty cheap in my book for a Trappist. Okay. Oh yeah, for a Trappist, yeah, that's that's a good price. I'd give a lot of money for the little tiny bottles, you know, four or five dollars. Yeah, you and me both. Eleven and a half, twelve <laughs> ounces of some of them. So, um, bang for the buck is one to ten. It's one to thirty. One to thirty. Nine percent. Mm. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Definite twenty-five on this one. I was gonna go twenty, but I tell you, I if I, I could probably knock up all my ratings if you you know, I'm probably in about the eighty, ninety percentile on this beer. Um probably after it warms up I'm gonna be higher. You know, Ben Ben knows a whole lot about these beers, so he says it's gonna be better. Um if it's a whole lot better, we'll edit this film and <laughs> I'll, I'll boost my ratings up. Um, excellent beer. If you do get a chance to try the Noel by Afflagen, Afflagen give it a shot. It's an excellent, excellent beer. You better like a strong beer if you buy this one. <laughs> okay, we've let the beer heat up and... Uh, the the fig taste that they spoke about in some of the ratings started to come out. It it got a lot lot better. Um, I'm gonna give this one probably around a 48 out of 50 on taste. Now Ben did did age this beer. This one is a little over a year old. He has you know kind of cellared it you know or, and uh, actually it's according to the cork date it's over two years old it's now now he drank them when he bought them and and you know is it better would you say it's better than i would say this is probably now that it's warmed up and it's really been able to come out fully it's i would give it easily 10 to 15 points higher than straight straight off the production line or straight out of the abbey if you if you please and